Look at this. Can you do this on Easter Sunday, perhaps? Uh, <laughs> forget the peanuts, forget the Cracker Jack. When it comes to watching baseball, we know it's all about the beer. Look who's here. He's the founder, the executive editor of San Diego Beer News, our friend Brandon Hernandez. This is the best brews breweries around Petco Park, yes? Yes, the closest. Okay. This is the kind of stuff we like to talk about, because before Definitely. the game, you want to go hang out with friends and yeah. kind of pre, kind of do a thing. Yeah, I mean, we're lucky to have wonderful beer selection at Petco Park, but yeah. it's fun to just pregame and go around and support local breweries. So this is a, uh, there's so many staying, down there. I had to only do five, but there's more. There, there, there's a lot more, right? Yeah. But you did the research, so thank you for yes. that. We're staying kind of in the East Village, obviously, right around Petco Park. Correct. Where do you, where do you want to start? I mean, do, do we just well, kind of- Well, start with East Village Brewery then. East Village yeah. is perfect. Yeah. Great segue. Uh, <laughs> so this is the newest entrant in the East Village. Yeah. They are across from the uh, Park Avenue gate at Petco Park. Sure. Founded by two Ballast Point brewers who were at the, they were at the top yeah. of the food chain over yeah, yeah, there, yeah. like making all those beers. And they wanted to go ahead and even though they were at the largest brewery in San Diego at the time, resign so they could make their own small brewery where they could just like experiment with styles, make really? whatever they wanted. They make all their beers with ingredients west of the Mississippi. Uh, it's a wonderful spot to serve out of serving tank, so it's always fresh and delicious. This here Fantastic. is a beer called Triple Play. Triple Play. They definitely play. get into the baseball mood over there. It's a Belgian style and then triple. We will not ale. be putting a pitch clock on how we enjoy this beer. We'll take our time, yeah? Definitely. I would take my time. It's a higher alcohol beer. Really delicious, though. Great floral notes. The floral notes have really come out, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it is a great expression of a Belgian beer. Wow. A wonderful patio over there. It's kind of like being in a living room. You go out to yeah. the patio, there's food vendors there, but it's a wonderful spot. I wanted to ask you what makes a, a beer game day worthy, aside from just the fact that it's beer. You know what I say? <laughs> that you, that, I mean, that you what enjoy a question, it. Huh? That you I mean, enjoy it. If it's a beer it. that you like, there you go. And like really Ooh. with all these breweries here, you can find just about anything this is really right good. by the park. You know what I found the last couple of years? A lot of the guys that used to work with Ballast and Stone and all these big companies are kind of, they started their own thing. Yeah, I mean, going to like a baseball analogy, mm. it's kind of like a, a, a farm system. It is, really. Because only so many people can rise to the top of those companies. Of course. And therefore, they tr get trained and they go and do their own thing. Who's next? All right, Half Door Brain. Yep. Really cool spot, Ninth and Island, one block good. north of the, uh, let's see here, the uh, Balboa Gate. Great two-story white house homey feel by the people who did the field uh, Irish pub yes. down in the gas line. It's been operating forever, really? so yeah. no hospitality. You go in there, you feel good. You got great UK and Irish type uh, dishes as well as contemporary things, but the beer there is awesome. They were kind of at the front end of the hazy, but I'm bringing you another Belgian, a Belgian blonde called Father Ted. Belgian blonde. Yeah, Father Ted, so like a fryer, for okay. instance. I can tell you from personal experience, it goes great with their scotch egg. Look at you. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. So what this is, is a tasting? lower alcohol Belgian beer, but you, again, so much depth. You almost get like a lemongrassy kind of yes. herby thing in there with the floral notes. Really great, but they, they are big mm. Padre fans over there. Are they? They have a, a beer called Swing Training. They've had another one called <laughs> Bat Flip to the Moon, had local coffee. <laughs> Both are training. fantastic, but, <laughs> like but yeah, that. no matter what you, get, what you do over there, you're going to have a good time, and it's great for pregame and postgame. This is really good. I'm glad you're here, because like usually you'll ask me, what do you taste? I'm like, I can never pinpoint what it is, but I can tell no, you just You just enjoy. I mean, the, the smile oh. that comes off your face just radiates, you know? That's, that's all I need. Get out of here. <laughs> Give me, what's the next beer? <laughs> the next beer, okay, so the next beer comes from the Lost Abbey. Before you okay. go to the Church of Baseball, go to the Church of oh, Lost Abbey, Lost because Abbey. it's actually in a 1900s era church that they went ahead and put pews in, an yeah, altar. Yeah. They've got tapestries, it's rad. They have things like their great Czech Pilsner, IPAs, tons of beers, but what they mm. have is beers you can't get anywhere else. So this here is called Peach Afternoon. Do I try that uh, one? You try that one, okay. same thing. Well, I'm gonna say. It's a sour ale with peach and peach tea. Ooh, it's a sour. I'm picky with the sours. Well, I'm not big on the sours. Let's see how you like it. Let's see how yeah, you like yeah, it. Yeah. What do you taste there, Ralph? I'm just kidding. Stop it. Uh, but you won't find beers like this anywhere else, probably in the Gas Lamp or the East Village Fruity. or much around the county. But this is an award-winning beer that's mm. now in cans for the first time, so pretty cool. Peachy? Definitely, definitely, it's just peachy. Mm. No, you definitely get the fruit in there. A like lot that of it fruit. doesn't hit you over yeah. the head. Yeah, yeah. And the tea kind of gives it this earthy thing too and kind of yeah. brings back the sourness to a, a really nice level. Okay. But anyway, great place. They have a patio. Love you you kind of just have to see it. Yeah, and you know Lost Abbey. Lost Abbey, everybody knows and everybody loves. Go find Mi Lost Abbey. Mission Brewing. What yes. do we have from that? Okay, so these are kind of the OGs in East Village right, around the right. Pe Peco Park. They went into the Wonder Bread factory years and years and years yeah. ago. Great red brick place. They have upgraded the facility, made it really fun to hang out. It's kind of loungy and has some games. Um, another thing that's exciting about what they've done is yeah. recently they have kind of 
looked at the company and decided they were going to introduce some new styles, make a lot more small batch beers. This is a new beer they made that's quickly become a bestseller. It's Waves of Haze, a hazy IPA. So for Waves the, of haze. the haze lovers, it's a good one. I'm a fan of the hazy IPA. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I'm becoming a bigger fan. They're getting better and better oh, every day. Oh man, yeah, buddy, this Lots is good stuff. Lots of citrus fruit in there. I like it a lot. Of tropical fruit, like kind this of. This is really good. Yeah, if you like fruity, hazy mm. IPAs that have just like a really mellow mouthfeel, um, this is good. And this just goes down easy and it's very, very, very nice. You're gonna say I'm crazy. I, it's, I almost taste like a, like a like guava or something. Here. Absolutely. I was gonna say the same thing. Guava, little pineapple, mango type thing going on. Yes. But they're across from the uh, Padres tailgate lot, mm. so. And have been for a long time. I, I bet a lot of people view, who are watching oh. have been there before. But it's even better now. So, go right, check how many out. beers are we? Doing? <laughs> we got, oh my god! Just one more. <laughs> just one more. Steal yourself. All right. <laughs> so, okay. Next. <laughs> last but not least, West Brew. It's a Vista brewery, but before yes. they even opened their brewery in North County, they knew they wanted to be part of the Padres culture. They love yeah. East Village and the Padres. So, right. they have a spot, and it's two blocks oh, away the from can. the from the Gas Lamp Gate, North. Uh, this beer is called. Full count. It refers to the number of hops and malts that are in the beer. I had this a couple of years when it debuted. I got an entire flat of it and finished it in like a month. This is very heavy. I really like it. Well, you know. No, I mean the glass, not to. I figured. By the way, I mean, did you notice the can? It's pretty yeah. bad, right? I love Heather the logo, can. Heather logo like mown into the center oh field. Oh my goodness. I love it. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Holy moly, Brandon. So they are in another you know, iconic red brick, red brick building, mm. indoor, outdoor, they have great food, and it's like a really varied menu. Dogs, brats, salads, flatbreads, just about everything. You'll Ooh, find wee. something you want. I'm glad I ate Woo a little something something today, Brandon, because otherwise I would have been ill prepared. Yeah, what? Chug, chug, chug. No, let's not. We're, we're oh, come on, we can do it. <laughs> You know, one of these segments we're gonna have to Psych, do. Psych, I'm not gonna. I know, but that, that we don't want to encourage. We want to good. How about when the Padres win the World Series? We'll do it. Oh, deal! Hey, cheers to that! Yeah, I will chub one of these things when the Padres win the World Series. Brandon, thank you. Uh, by the way, for more information on San Diego Beer News, go to our website. Uh, what's the website again? Go ahead. San Diego Beer News. <laughs> not your website. Our website. It's like a whole deal. We put a link, and that's you know how it works. I sneak it in when I can. You right see that? Go ahead, sneak it in anyway. Okay, San Diego Beer News. Yeah, yeah. We actually have a full article that shows every <laughs> single spot in the East Village. So go check it out. It's under Sunscapes. <laughs> Get Fox your free game on. FoxFiveSanDiego.com. Anyway, uh, this is good. I mean, listen, I blame you. And I also credit you. All right. And I'll I take it. I appreciate you. What? Man, there's a double edged sword. They're telling me to go to break. You want to go ahead and send it to break? Go ahead. Hey, don't switch that channel. Fox5, Raul, Shali.